Okay, painting one, painting two. What I'm gonna have you guys do is to um, test out your colors in your watercolor palette. So what I'm gonna have you do, and it's not too specific, is I'm gonna have you go ahead and at the top edge of your watercolor pad, I'm gonna go ahead and have you trace your palette. All right, you can just do this lightly in pencil. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to make some tick marks for these colors. So I'm gonna line it up here on the bottom, all right? I'm gonna do a little tick mark on the side for where that goes, all right? And then I can do the same thing at the top. So we'll do the lid on the top edge here. We can label that too, all right? And then if you have a straight edge or a ruler, you can go ahead and draw a straight line across. All right, so if you don't have a ruler, right, you could maybe even use the edge of the palette to draw a straight line. I'm not too concerned with this being perfect. This is all for reference. So if you're trying to figure out what color to use, you can ask me and I can suggest it and then you can actually locate it. So you'll be like, oh, I know what cadmium yellow is. Oh, I know what lemon yellow is and so on. So we're gonna go ahead and make tick marks for each of our colors in our palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and lightly make little tick marks. For each of the places that the colors are. Okay. And so I'm gonna do this as straight as I can. Um, I could make tick marks at the top edge too. I'm just gonna go ahead and connect the dots for these sections. Now keep in mind at any time, if I'm moving too fast, you can pause the video and then continue when you are ready to move on. You can see mine's a little crooked. Mine's not quite perfect. It's okay, All right? This is really just a reference image for us so that we know what colors we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and label this. This is my lid, and then this is the bottom of my palette. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab out a brush that holds a lot of water. So probably a Sumie brush works really well or a big round brush, okay? So you're gonna need to get yourself a cup of water and some paper towels, all right? And so you're gonna to wanna to activate the paint. And so I'm gonna go ahead and start at the top. So I'm gonna start with the lid. Usually I don't like to put the paint um, on the watercolor paper, especially if I'm making a painting. But here, just so that you guys can see what I'm doing, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So you could place yours on the side, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and start at the top. And so I'm gonna take some water, right? And so when you use water for watercolor, one of the things I always say is wipe a drop off the edge, right? So get in the habit of taking some of it off and then go in and scrub, 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 right? So you're gonna activate the paint, try to make it so that you can see it. You wanna make kind of a puddle. And then what you're gonna do is paint in some of the color. You don't have to fill in the whole thing and you don't need to stay in the lines, okay? So then you're going to wash the brush. So on the bottom edge of the, of the cup or the mug or whatever you're using as your water container, scrub, 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 flick off some water, right? And then go into the next color. So you're gonna scrub and activate it. You're gonna see that the same amount of water, some colors are really dark and some colors are really light. And so here you can kind of get a feel for not only the color, but also the saturation or the brightness or the luminosity of the color, All right? So every time I go to a new color, I have to clean my brush, 
flick some of the water and then go into the next one and scrub. So you can see that I gave you a few different greens. This one's really light, All right? Clean, wipe, All right? After a while, if you feel like your water gets really dirty, right? You can go ahead and swap it out for clean water, right? Because if you put all the colors in the of the rainbow in your water, it's gonna turn kind of muddy, okay? So you're gonna repeat this process for all of the colors in the lid and then all of the colors at the bottom. And when you are done, you're gonna have something like this. Right? So in this one, I filled it in a little bit more solidly. Um, you can go ahead and do that too, right? You can fill it in a little bit more solidly, but don't keep, keep in mind, you don't need to fill it in. You don't have to do perfect edges because if this was wet and this was wet, they would run together, okay? So you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and fix this. Fill it in a little bit. So I'm gonna re-wet this whole shape so that I don't get a line. Okay, you can see what happened there where one color fell into the next because I used wet next to wet. You don't want those to touch. So don't worry right now about labeling. What we'll do is we'll eventually go into our palette and label each of our colors that we have. And I'll have some references for you as well so that um, if you can't tell what color it is, you can use those references for the companies that we buy. Eventually, we'll also test out all of our brushes.